the 10 most curious traditions of Christmas in Europe. In Ireland, they prefer beer to celebrate Christmas, while in Portugal, they light a bonfire. There are better known customs such as the New Year's concert in Austria and some stranger ones such as the ritual of single women in the Czech Republic. We know Spanish customs at Christmas such as grapes on New Year's Eve, the Bethlehem portal, Christmas carols, the Roscón de Reyes Magos or the Caganer in Catalonia. But there are many traditions around Europe that are largely unknown to most. Large family meals and parties with friends are essential aspects during these dates in all parts of the world. However, each country has its own way of celebrating them. Today, we are looking at five of the 10 most interesting or curious traditions in Europe. Number one, the Befana in Italy. Similar to the three wise men, although very different in appearance, in Italy, it is the Befana who brings the gifts at Christmas. Its tradition also goes back to the birth of Christ. According to legend, the three wise men met the Bafana when they went to Bethlehem to bring offerings to a newborn baby Jesus. The old woman provided food and shelter to the three kings, although she did not want to accompany them on their journey. However, she regretted her decision and went out to meet them, provided with sweets and candies, the old woman was asking house to house for them while she left some of the sweets to children. According to tradition, the Befana goes down the chimney to leave toys, sweets, or fruits for the good children while the bad ones receive coal, onions, or garlic. Like Santa Claus, she does not like to be seen and hits any child who discovers her with the broom. Number two, the New Year's concert in Austria. One of the most characteristic events of Christmas in Europe is the New Year's concert by the Vienna Philharmonic Orchestra. The performance takes place every year in the Austrian city on the morning of January 1st. The concert is broadcast throughout the world to an estimated audience of 1 billion people in 70 different countries. Ticket prices range between 35 and 1,090 euros and due to the great demand of them, the organization conducts a raffle at the beginning of the year through its website. Held since 1941, the concert program is made up for the most part by music from the Strauss family. Afterwards, several encores are offered, among which are the Waltz, El Danubio Azul, and the Radetzky March, which is accompanied by clapping hands by the audience and closes the event until next year. This year, Andres Nelsons will conduct the 79th edition of the concert. Number three, the bonfire and raisins in Portugal. On Christmas Eve, the Portuguese light a bonfire with firewood or Christmas stumps. It is a centuries old tradition that represents the triumph of light over darkness. In the country, there is a belief that the larger the log and the longer it lasts, the greater the good luck for the following year will be. At the time of saying goodbye to the year, in Portugal they change the bells and grapes for fireworks and raisins. The Madeira region entered the Guinness Book of Records for performing the largest fireworks show in the world at night from 2006 to 2007. Number four, the ritual of single women in the Czech Republic. On Christmas Eve, all Czech single women have to follow a curious ceremony. The ritual consists of turning their back to the door of their house and throwing a shoe over their right shoulder. If the front of the shoe points to the door when it falls, the Czech woman will marry next year. On the contrary, if it is the part of the heel that faces the door, you will have to wait another year. A curious way of knowing what love will bring them in the following year. Number five, the 3FM radio fundraiser in the Netherlands. Since 2004, 3FM radio DJs lock themselves in a glass studio the week before Christmas to raise money for the Red Cross. They do not eat for a whole week and are responsible for broadcasting for 24 hours, seven days a week. This tradition, which is repeated every year in a different Dutch city, 
aims to raise awareness and collaborate with a charitable cause. In addition, it is another of the European countries where gifts are opened on January 5th during what they call Sinterklaas and not on December 24th or 25th. Like the typical Spanish Christmas basket, the Dutch receive the Kerstepakket. Tradition says that this package should include all kinds of foods and sweets. That's it for this week's edition of Feedback LearnX. Stay tuned next week, Thursday night at 9.15 p.m., where we'll take a look at the last five of these 10 curious traditions of Christmas in Europe. Thank you.